To me, it look like a leprechaun to me. All you got to do is look up in the tree. Who else seen the leprechaun say yeah? yeah! I don't want to know where to go. Hello, listeners, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jason Oliver. I am Jeff Arbuckle, and you're listening to Film Seizure. This month we have a a bit of a treat for you, if you will, a, a trick maybe. Mostly tricks. Mostly tricks. <laughs> Lots of tricks. A lot of tricksy uh, villainy in these movies. I guess. What are we What are we talking about for the most of the duration of the best month of the year, October? Yeah. So for the four out of five weeks, uh, we have we are going to subject ourselves to all eight Leprechaun movies. Yes, all eight. You heard that right. Uh, eight. There are eight of these. Eight Leprechaun movies. <laughs> movies, and we're talking about specifically the the horror franchise Leprechaun movies, starting with Leprechaun One, uh, most starring Warwick Davis as a Leprechaun, <laughs> an, an evil, <laughs> Little demonic man. looking Leprechaun. Yeah, like the Leprechauns in this aren't the jovial chaps you see on the cereal boxes or uh, or in the Disney movies. This is like a a weird demonic looking leprechaun. Yeah, he's he's out for his gold, and that's all he wants. He's, and, he's and he will kill for it. He's motivated basically by two things, maybe three things. Once we get to the second movie, but he's motivated by by his gold, cleaning shoes, and getting some uh, O'Dowell uh, poontang. O'Dowell is that then that the ladies the the O'Day O'Days he the wants O'Days. the O'Days yep yep that's the, I thought you were, I thought there was an Irish word for no for he the, he likes the O'Day the, women the women with the O'Day from the O'Day clan gotcha gotcha yes. gotcha okay okay all right well we'll get the two but that's what this episode we're covering one and two so uh, just yes. we're gonna get that right out of out of the box here we're doing four episodes we're gonna cover two Leprechaun movies per episode and we've got a special halloween episode that we're fitting in as well this this five week october yeah and and uh, yeah that that last one's gonna be our release from, yes from the lep eps yeah, the lep eps so this is lep ep one covering leprechauns one and two all right so uh leprechaun one yeah 1993 yeah famous for one thing in particular being the uh, oh the giant spiders in, that are in North yeah, Dakota yeah North Dakota apparently according to this movie has tarantulas uh, tarantulas yes yeah. yes so be so careful you if you're traveling yes. north I think maybe someone at some point in time maybe brought a bunch of tarantulas and let them loose and now they've somehow thrived in the in the, in the, in the North Dakota winter right yeah <laughs> <laughs> sure um so okay so uh, yeah uh let, let's let's go ahead and deal with the elephant in the room <laughs> she's a lot prettier than an elephant oh yeah 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 she's party yeah the Jim. guy who played francis yeah from, uh, yeah from <laughs> yeah what's his name What's that actor's name? Because I feel like we're going to have to talk about him a few times. Yes, we are going to have to talk about uh, him. Is it Mark Holton? Uh, yeah. Mark Holton, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston. Uh, yeah, making her, I think, her movie debut. She may have probably had bit parts yes, here and yes. there. Yes, yes. Um, and also, it's it's. Uh, I questioned exactly when this movie was filmed because uh, it started filming right after Terminator 2, at essentially the same stage yeah. or whatever. Yeah, exactly. For their interior shots, they all had the same, they used the same stage. The Terminator 2 came out when? July of 1991. 91. So, oh, wow. So, and principal photography was probably finished well In before 1990, that. Yeah. yeah. At least a year, I would think, with all the special effects right. that had to be done. So, yeah. So, this movie was probably shelved. Uh, this is Trimark. So, much uh, like uh, our early episodes of Warlock, uh, Trimark had um, some horror. Yeah. Question yeah. mark. Um, it was the first film produced in house by Trimark. Even so, there you go. So, and they took oh, and they kind of came into formation uh, late eighties, I guess, um, when they took over. Wow, they were eighty four. But then they, but, but that then was they, they were doing up. distribution. So this right. is one that they actually funded and made themselves. But they folded in '89. 
What? It became Lionsgate, I think, in 89. But everything says Trimark or Vidmark. I know. That's oh, weird. That's weird. How does I, that work? I don't know. Vidmark Entertainment was unless they were unless they were folded as a as a. Oh no! I'm sorry. Formerly, uh, Vidmark Entertainment, which folded in '89, so and Trimark, became Trimark. So it became Trimark in '89. There you go. Okay. There it is. That makes sense. That makes all all the sense. And then later, some point in the '90s, Lionsgate probably bought them out, or yeah. Artisan, or somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, so yeah, I don't know exactly when this was filmed, but it's '90s as fuck. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, man. Jennifer Aniston's wardrobe in this is is really kind of like a time capsule of she's got the, of the turn of the decade. She's got the L.A. gear uh, sneakers with yep. the, with the two laces, the two color the. With the two different color laces. She's got the black bodysuit, which yep. she wears shorts over. Yep. Yeah. Within those shorts are kind of like a patchwork quilt kind of on the ass, yeah. right? With sort of like crazy faux graf- graffiti, you know? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so so the movie begins. Uh, I, it's a real simple premise, actually. It all takes place in one place. Uh, it's, it's basically Critter's. <laughs> yeah, this this uh, Irish guy comes home to his farmhouse in North Dakota. Oh yes, uh, in 1983, with uh, a limo, and the wife's like, "Oh, we can't afford that." Whatever your name is, O'Grady, yeah. <laughs> or whatever was it, O'Grady? I think yes, so yeah, it was okay. O'Grady. <laughs> It was O'Grady. Uh, I'm gonna be making fun of culture today. Oh boy, a lot. A lot. Um, anyway. You sorry. fucking Irish deserve sorry, it. My, <laughs> sorry, my fr- my fellow Irish ancestrans. <laughs> you fucking Irish you weirdos. Anyway. <laughs> We're everywhere, man. You fucking watch out. <laughs> I, know. I know. You appear out of nothing. Yeah, we do. We, we will materialize wherever gold or whiskey <laughs> can be found. <laughs> we'll fuck your shit up. With our bare knuckled fisty cuffs, <laughs> like gentleman boxing. <laughs> yes, and our, our with our twirly upped uh, wax mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to say anything. Her more pasty about that. skin will blind your face. <laughs> Use it like sunlight, off sunlight, of sunlight. Sunlight will kill us, but not before it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> or at least blinds you. Uh, uh, okay. So anyway, we got that out of the system. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, eating uh, our potatoes. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so O'Grady comes home, and uh, and his wife's like, you know, what are you doing with the limo? I thought you went over to Ireland to bury your mother. And he opens up a box that has an urn in it. And she's like, wait a minute. Why'd you bring your mother back here? <laughs> Didn't you bury her in Ireland? He's like, it's not ashes. And he smashes it open. It's a little bag of gold. Yeah. 100, 100 pieces of gold. And a leprechaun shows up and he's like, I want <laughs> my gold. gold. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, he caught a leprechaun while he was in Ireland. Because, yeah, I mean, that's something you do when you go to Ireland. You go on a, a leprechaun hunt. And I he, assume so. And he caught himself one, and he made it give it give him his gold. Yeah, and so uh, the leprechaun followed him back because he can just be anywhere all the time. And he wants his gold. He wants his gold. He uh, kills the guy's wife kind of accidentally. Yes. Because he's like, where's me Startles gold? her right. to and her she, death. And she falls down some stairs into the basement. And then, um, uh, uh, so the... <laughs> Guy uh, comes back, so like I hid the gold, and and the leprechaun's like, hey, you know, I killed your wife, yeah, and like makes her talk, yeah. which is kind of creepy, yeah. And then um, uh, he uses a four leaf clover on him like a crucifix. Yeah, that this is fucking silly. <laughs> yeah, the power of the clover compels you. Now, did we did we discover whether or not that's actually I think a real? That's, thing? I think that's horseshit. I've never heard of that before. He's he holds the four leaf clover up to the leprechaun, and the leprechaun is is, is like he's like moving backward, all all like he's in pain, like a like a Dracula would if if a cross was in his face. It's a Dracula, a Dracula. Yeah, um, yeah. So anyway, he uses it basically to put him in a crate, nails down the crate, 
dunk, 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 dunk. Puts the the four leaf clover on top of it. That Basically, he's powerless. Him. Yeah, he's powerless. It's a that. bunch of dumb fuckery. <laughs> yeah. Um, ten years later, a dad and his really hot daughter decide to buy this place, and uh, she's mad because they're not living in Beverly Hills or whatever. Yeah, it's and really... she calls it New Mexico, and he's like, "No, this is North Dakota." <laughs> right. So I'm having serious reservations about our heroin <laughs> at the <laughs> <Right>. beginning. <laughs> and, and you don't really get any understanding of why they're wealthy, why they're moving here. None of that matters. Um, Leprechaun. And dad is only in the picture for like the first 20 minutes, if that. Yeah, because he gets bit by the leprechaun, has yeah. to be taken to the hospital, where he remains for the rest of the movie. Yes, you, never to be seen or heard from again. Right. Um, so Jennifer Aniston's like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. This sucks. And I think she's talking about the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I want to be in Hollywood. <laughs> I mean, and it's like, well, uh, honey, you got to pay your dues with leprechaun. Yep. You know? Yep. Uh, so anyway, um, she changes her tune when she sees the buff handyman that lives next door. Yeah. I think he's been hired. To by the paint. dad to paint because it's because the, on they, the truck it says three guys who paint <laughs> yes and he's got a little brother little little brother yeah i think maybe 12 probably a little younger um and then they've got their uh dullard friend yes ozzy ozzy who is um played by mark holton he is francis from Wee. yes he is basically our charlie from critters yes it's so painful that first introduction to those two characters, how much it's just ripped straight from the pages of Critters. Right, because Ozzy's friend is a child. Yeah. And it's like, sir, do you realize your best friend is your child, is this child? Yep. Um, and this kid is like the Scott Grimes, you know, he's got the slingshot and he's, everything. He's, he's, a, uh, he's, he's a ragamuffin. Yeah, a little ragamuffin, you yeah. know, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, so the moment that... Uh, that uh, Jennifer Aniston sees the uh, Kevin Bacon look like a uh, guy who paints, one who paints. Uh, you get a little bit of a squish moment, and she's like, I'm all <laughs> in for staying, Dad. Yeah, this is great, Dad. Best idea ever. Yay. And Dad's like, great. The great. only thing my daughter has to do is fuck this dude. And <laughs> have babies. And make babies, yeah. So, make babies. So you better get that extension going on this little cabin, too, because you're going to need the room. <laughs> <laughs> so it's starting to build out like the clampets. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like the, it's like the sequel to the Waltons 2000s. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> so uh, Leprechaun uh, starts uh, playing some tricks on Ozzy because he figures this guy's an idiot. We can we can play some tricks on him. And uh, basically makes uh, makes him knock the uh, clover off the top of the of the crate and immediately comes busting through Warwick Davis as the as the leprechaun, and he's like, oh, he whatever he says, he says stupid <laughs> shit a lot. <laughs> He also rhymes a lot. Yeah, we've got we'll we'll be we'll be uh, judging these movies based on the uh, limerick o meter. Yeah, limerick o meter. Limer not not dash o dash meter. It's, it's limerick o, o apostrophe, apostrophe meter. meter. <laughs> <laughs> That's just off the cuff, folks. <laughs> this shit isn't scripted. This is this is fire. It's pure unadulterated zings. <laughs> <laughs> Oy. Um. Anyway, so um. So for the next four hours, it's basically just this leprechaun constantly asking for his gold yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. This and movie referring to himself as a leprechaun. Yeah. God. Like, you can't trick a leprechaun. It's not nice to be mean to a leprechaun. I am a leprechaun. <laughs> 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 oh guys we are on fire today. Yeah. <laughs> um anyway no this movie is uh it's really i mean honestly it's fine it, it's a totally fine little movie it's um jason's just pulled something up on his uh tablet here um sorry i just got a text from my wife and she like busted her toe and i got a photo of it and it really freaked me out oh gross anyway um so the um 
<laughs> I'm like, I, that, that threw me off my game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get back to the limerick o meter. Limerick o meter. <laughs> laugh, 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 laugh. We're back. We're All back. right. Um, so yeah, so this movie is painfully slow at times. Yeah, it is. Um, it, it, but overall, I would say Leprechaun One is perfectly fine. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's tongue in cheek. I mean, he he gets a little trikey, and he re, and he wheels around a little tricycle. Until he sees a little toy car that he can drive oh, around like Gizmo. Yeah, he's, from like, he's like upgrading Gremlins. his his vehicles, yeah. Right, and then he builds onto that like a Mad Max the like car. Yep. With spikes and you know weapons on it and everything, uh, and a little little bike honky horn. <laughs> <laughs> he um, it's, yeah he uh. Um, has got this. There's a really good running gag in this movie with shoe cleaning. Oh, this is the best. This is so charming. It's, in this it's my favorite part of this movie. Anything to do with with shoe cleaning and and his obsession with it is comedy gold. Yeah. So it is true that leprechauns. Part of the myth of leprechauns is that uh, they are typically loners who are just th- what they do for to build up their gold is they make and repair shoes. So every time he sees shoes. Uh, especially if they're in the dirt or they're just randomly laying out and not being worn or being uh, uh, cared for, he he must he must clean those shoes. Yes, uh, and he's like obsessed with it. <laughs> so I'll set I'll set this up here real quick. They've got to figure out how to get to Old Man O'Grady. Yes, because O'Grady claimed that he was attacked by a leprechaun, which put him basically in an assisted home. They said that he had a stroke, but I think what they were just trying to say is that he was rambling about leprechauns killing his wife, and they thought, okay, crazy man, you got to go to assisted living. Which is dumb, because he later says, they didn't believe me, and I knew it would always come back for me, and the only thing that, number one, why would he tell people? Because it's locked up in his basement, right? Right. So why would he rant rave about it when he knows it's in his basement? He's safe. The more people he tells, the more at risk he is. Because if he wants to prove to people that there is a leprechaun, he has to let it free. And he doesn't want to do that. Right. So it's dumb. It's just dumb fuckery. Yeah. So he, uh, <laughs> so uh, Jennifer Aniston has to go to the assisted living home to find out how to kill leprechaun. Yes. And so, in order to do that, what does the gang decide to do? Oh, they got to create a diversion. They got to lay down covering fire, basically, <laughs> right? So she can get away. And it's genius. They get all the shoes in the house and they start throwing them over his head. Yes. So he has to run because he, he's his compulsion can't allow these shoes to be dirty. <laughs> so he runs after them, then cleans them. He's like, oh, rah, rah, rah. and every time they throw another one, he gets this look in his face, like, ah, I gotta get that one too. And he's like, and he's running around. Warwick Davis is really selling it too. He's running from shoe to shoe, cleaning the shoes while Jennifer Aniston gets away, and it's funny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, Before that, they they know they can do this because they realized when they got back, he was looking for his gold, and he, and all of their shoes had been cleaned. Right. Because he and you see him do this as well. You see him get really, really into cleaning everybody's shoes. Yeah. And oh, it's, he, it's wonderful. Uh, like when he uh when he first uh, sees Ozzy, he's like, "Oh, would you care for me to clean your shoes?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 so it's, as as much as he wants his gold, nothing is more important than a clean shoe. Right. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, and really, it's just uh, you just got to press that uh, that four leaf clover to his to his oh yeah to his body. So that's how they find out how to kill him. Yeah. yeah. Now the thing is, is that you know they do so. Okay. The main problem with this movie is that it's really not a fo- a feature length. Thing. This really should have just been like an episode of Tales from the Crypt or something, right? Like you've got you've got this really basic, really cheap thing where it's like guy comes home from Ireland, he's stolen gold from a leprechaun. Leprechaun wants his gold, he 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 imprisons the, the leprechaun. Leprechaun gets out ten years later, he wants his gold. 
Jennifer Aniston gives him a bag of gold that only has 99 out of the 100 pieces because dumb fuck Ozzy, who's <laughs> just... I don't want to say that he's mentally challenged. He's just an idiot. Yeah, I just think I he's mean, just not smart. He yeah. isn't. His and, IQ is low. Yeah. Yeah. And so he... he uh, 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 um, so it, the kid, the little kid, the brother of the hunk wants to keep all the gold so that Ozzy can get an operation to fix his brain. To which at one point Jennifer Aniston just yells at the kid, you can't fix his brain. (laughs) 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 She did. It was a lie. It was a lie. That's great. Um, Anyway, um, (laughs) so you can tell that he needs his brain fixed because he goes to, to... bite on the piece of gold because he's seen people do that in movies and quite frankly when i was five i thought the same thing yeah sure you know i thought if you bit down on a piece on a coin or whatever it's like well and the reason do you know why people do it, that it's softer and it, you can you can tell the difference between that and fool's gold by but by there, biting on there's it. a reason why people do that to coins too because i think during the and i could be wrong on this but my understanding was was that during the depression people would pawn off uh wooden coins oh yeah very painted well, painted possibly. silver or whatever and so people would bite down to yeah. make sure it was metal yeah anyway uh so but anyway so he's like i've seen this in the movie so he bit down on it it cuts back and you notice that he swallowed it yeah <laughs> and then well, and if you didn't notice he tells you i just swallowed that coin i don't know why i said it like the other percon but whatever <laughs> I want you to be cast as Ozzy in the reboot of the Leprechaun franchise. Me? Yeah. Me? Because well, I, I want you to talk like that well, for an hour and a half. We don't need to re- recast. Uh, uh, he's, he's already been recast, I think. Unless he's not he's playing a different character. Ugh. We'll find out in a few weeks. Yay. Um, so, <laughs> then, um, so anyway, so that's the last piece. And that's why the Leprechaun won't just simply go away when Jennifer Aniston gives him. Yeah. Because when she gives him the bag of the 99 coins... Now, he's kind of fixated on her because he thinks she's stolen the last piece. Uh, and Ozzy at one point is like, hey, guys, I'm going to just take one for the team. You know, I'm I'm obviously a, a liability <laughs> to everything. <laughs> he sacrificed himself. It's, but it's, then he didn't. It's because like the, the mentally challenged sacrifice trope. Is that a trope? Mm. That's not a trope. <laughs> I don't know. Oh God! Is it kind of? No. I mean, I no. Charlie kind of does it in Critters. Yeah. Well. Okay. All right. The the town idiot. The town idiot. Yeah. Saves the, the day. Right. And maybe that happens through self sacrifice. Maybe, but he doesn't have to. The one thing they up, can give is their life. <laughs> right. Because otherwise, he's messing up a bunch of stuff. They can't even paint the side of a fucking house without getting paint all over. He's got paint as if he's been dumped on his head. <laughs> yes, like he wore it as a helmet. There this is not this is not a joke. <laughs> this is true about this movie. There is more paint on all of the characters in this movie than there is on the damn house. <laughs> they managed to manage to paint I think maybe four panels of this house. <laughs> And up it, to a window yeah <laughs> it's not even and beyond it, and, the window. And, and, and even every panel isn't even completely painted it's and it's if it is they they're if that's their version of done with that part then don't when i do not hire these painters <laughs> i'm gonna leave them a very bad yelp review <laughs> it's like it's like it's like you need, like a kindergartner colors that's what it looks like but there is literally more paint on their bodies <laughs> than on the house yeah. yes um yeah, and they're like at one point in time, like Jennifer Aniston's helping the hunk like paint, and like his brother and Ozzy and everything. And the next time you see him, they've just got like these very like <laughs> like Ozzy just decided to start painting people. Yeah, yeah, they they all have these paint like broad paint strokes. On, yeah, it's not drips. These are broad <laughs> paint strokes that they that the the uh, artistic director was like, we got to make it look like you've been painting all day. So let's let's paint you. Yeah, but then it's just a <laughs> tiny little piece of the outside of the house. It's fantastic. So the um, yeah, so it's like, well, he doesn't have to sacrifice himself because the little kid decides to take his bubble gum, stick the uh, clover to it, use his slingshot. And then he says, fuck you, Lucky Charms, and okay. it <laughs> fuck you, lodges Lucky it Charms. down his throat, and it kills him, melts him like a gremlin. Yeah. But then, <laughs> so they throw him down a whale. A, well, a whale. A yeah. whale. Yeah, they throw him down a well, 
And he climbs back up. He's like, I want me gold. And he's all melty like Stripe at the end of, of Gremlins. <laughs> and uh, Hunky Dude, Hunky McGee, was like, hey, um, I'm going to throw him back down there. He kicks and him I'm down. Gonna, and I'm going to dump a bunch of gasoline that I just have in the back of my truck. I'm going to dump all this gasoline in there. And then I'm going to light it on fire. And he explodes. It explodes. <laughs> the, the, the whole... The the whole well explodes. It's, it's like a it's like a volcano erupting out of this well. It's just like maybe maybe a half a, like, a wow, half a this, car, this can, the, canteen of uh, gasoline. He puts down there, and the throws first, a match. It's the first ever. He runs like you dropped a grenade. It's yeah. hilarious. It, it's like it's the first ever well that was ever made of C four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those aren't bricks those are bricks of oh, c4 man. um so anyway so uh yeah so leprechaun one dunzo done but okay positives perfectly fine movie yeah, it's, it's tongue-in-cheek it's playing with the stuff it with itself basically <laughs> it's, it's playing it's, it's, play, it's jerking itself uh, off pretty much a little bit uh it, but no it's 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 having fun with with what they've got right the problem though is that it really, really did not need to be ninety-one minutes. It did not. Like it needed to be. Like it needed to be dialed back to like seventy minutes. Yeah, seventy-five minutes if you really want to push push your luck. And 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 for someone who I think the director who also wrote it, um, Mark Jones, I think he said he was he's been he had been working on the script for something like five years before they made the movie. Really? Yeah, and it feels how, like I could write this in an afternoon. Exactly. There, there's so much just sloppy storytelling, especially down to like the stuff that should matter, right? With the mythology, is sloppy. None of the rules make any fucking sense. It's just wow, you were really tinkering away at this one. Just fine tuning it, Mark. Yeah, you just got to get it right. Yeah, oh, it's man. Like you should have gone to the George Lucas school, which is release it. Then go back and add a bunch of stupid stuff, <laughs> and then release it again, and then come back and add some more stupid stuff, and then but keep that explosion at the end. Yeah, like gotta, just gotta leave the that. explosion, rewrite all the rest of it. Uh, <laughs> no, that's actually Leprechaun too. As um, I'm jumping ahead, there. you are jumping um, a little bit ahead. No, I think you're right. It's it, it's just it, it's overwrought. You know, yeah, it, it really is because it's. Um, but is it overwrought? Iron? Iron? No, now we're jumping ahead. Oh, okay, okay. We're giving the teases of hot <laughs> iron explosions. Um, <laughs> no, um, no, no. It's just it's it's um, I, it's fine. I I don't really like. This is a movie I know I saw when I was a kid. Oh yeah. Well, kid, I was a teenager when this came out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw. I rented I, it at the. Video I got store. this from the video store. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, and because it played in the theater. Now, what's funny is, is if you look up some of the the uh, crit- criticism of the movie, it's it should have never been released in the movie theater. It's and it and I agree with that. Uh, it, seeing Leprechaun it made money though, it made like eight and a half million dollars. Well, it did. Uh, I mean, yeah, it it funded seven more Leprechauns. Yeah, um, but it's um, I understand like the way that the story is told, the cheapness of it of just being in one location constantly. Um, this movie shouldn't have been released in the movie theaters. This is a this is a direct video horror movie. Yeah. Um did um well I wonder if uh Jennifer Aniston had anything to do with that. When did she actually make her first sort of splash as an actress? N- not really until Friends, yeah, which was Friends the started late in ninety four, so that doesn't yeah. really track. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. really track. It was just, I mean, it was one of those things where it's like, well, we got this, we intend for this to be released, but we got to figure out our business stuff, maybe. And then, because you could th- you could see it being like a sort of like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre four, right? Where they realize they've got this yeah. property with these two big stars in it now right and hey we should try and push this as much as we can let's get some money off and make some money off of it you could feel like they they did that with this but but it doesn't work yeah if it had been released one year later right if it was released in 95 then it would have been like oh you know yep um yeah so 
Yeah, I mean, I just feel um, it, it does not have the look and feel of a theatrical re- I mean, in fact, shit, the DVDs that I have of these first four movies aren't even in widescreen. <laughs> Because I wasn't going to pay for that. The, that costs more. <laughs> more screen is more money. It's true. And I mean, uh, some of these sequels, I ain't paying premium dollar for it. Well, you can get the first four Lepre- Leprechaun movies on one disc, right? Uh, or is it two discs? Two, two discs. Uh, it's on two one discs. for the first two, and then double-sided disc for three and four. Oh. Which means three and four must have some pretty cherry uh, oh, extras. Oh, yeah. Um, no, uh, so I, I did have one note about this. About this movie before we move to part two. Because I assume you don't really have much to say. No. Okay. So uh, a few weeks back. Uh-oh. On. Uh, flashback. On. Your flashback mon- music. <laughs> uh, on Monster Mondays, I covered a movie called Incredible Melting Man. And it was directed by William Sachs. Now, William Sachs is an interesting guy. He mostly made small budget movies. He was, uh, but he also wrote really weird scripts that were either very, um, they were either very, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I guess kind of avant garde a little bit. A little esoteric. Perhaps. Maybe a little bit. Uh, he was he was greatly uh, influenced by Fellini. Okay. Um, so he would write these movies that that were very peculiar. Uh, which often got his movies kind of tampered with, which really irritated him. Um, Because, like, Incredible Melting Man is a movie that is was written to be this uh, this really weird, gross out horror comedy. Mm -hmm. When it's clear that the producers or the people releasing it or whatever was like, no, we just want a literal melting man eating people. That's what we want. We don't want this comedy bullshit. Uh, but you can still feel pieces of that still in the movie. But anyway, um, one of the things that he also did, aside from writing and directing movies, was he worked as a film doctor. Oh. And uh, one of the uh, – he was like very a, good. Like an actual MD? No, 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 no. Like a guy who would who would be hired to punch up a movie through editing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. No, not not an like, MD. Not an MD on the sets or whatever, right. but like like a medic. <laughs> right. A medic. Like basically it would be like after a studio or producers are shown a movie, they would say, uh, we need to we need to punch this up a little right. bit. Right. And so what they would do is they would call uh William Saxon and he'd come in and he'd re edit things or he might um he might get a small budget to go and reshoot a few things. Um but like he he was very very well respected for this. Um, I don't, you know, the movie Joe with uh, Peter Boyle. Yep, yep, sure do. Uh, originally, the original cut of that, Joe was kind of a passive character in his own movie, and William Sachs went in and recut it so that he's a much more proactive character mm-hmm. and much more involved in his own movie, and he received great praise for that. Uh, and one of the movies that he was a film doctor on was Leprechaun. Oh, wow. So uh, I I have to imagine that this movie was a lot, a lot more boring. Yeah. My guess is that he tightened this movie up probably from something that was 105 minutes down to 90. Yeah, you wonder if the dad character came, had comes more. back. Yeah, comes yeah, back, has cut, more. Cut a character. Right, he just cut that character out, figured out a way to get, get rid of him or at least keep him away. Yeah. Um, it probably maybe had more to do with the police, mm-hmm. like the sheriff, because it seemed like those characters were going to be something, and then they didn't show up. Yeah, and they, they when they did show up, they showed up dead. Right. Like you didn't, there was like one, I think, po- cop that came that, they ran into that was just dead already. Yeah, he was the guy that was um, that that uh, pulled over Warwick Davis in the little toy car. Yeah, that was the same cop. Oh, it was the same cop. Yeah. Okay, um, because he was using that to call back to the sheriff, saying, "Yep, I'm on my way" or whatever. Right. right. Um, but yeah, but like the sheriff guy seemed like a guy who was going to be more. And then he was only in two scenes, mm-hmm. and those scenes could have even maybe been cut, except for the fact that there were. Dial- there was dialogue about calling the police, getting them to come out, where are they at, so on and so forth. 
Um, so it's uh, and that, and that character has been in a lot of things. Yeah, that, that character, that actor, he is. Yeah, he's he's not really a. Um, um, he's he's someone you kind of get right. Like he's he was in Mosquito Coast. He was in uh, Squirm. He was right. Quigley in Squirm. Yeah. So like, <clears throat> um, yeah. So like, you know, here's a guy that's um, that that you would uh, that you would be expecting to do more, or expecting to come back, or expecting to have a role, and it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which would have only extended the movie, right? So my guess is that William Sachs helped tighten the movie up a little bit mm-hmm. um which is funny because that is the opposite problem that two has yes so let's talk about leprechaun two leprechaun two well first thing you need to do if you're gonna watch <laughs> leprechaun two after you watch leprechaun one is forget everything about leprechaun one except that warwick davis is gonna play a leprechaun oh oh shit we've got some <clears throat> what's the what? what's the limerick meter for, oh yeah, so Limerico meter for Leprechaun One for Leprechaun One was a seven, seven Limericks, and and way, the way we're defining this is essentially any rhyming pattern, right? Um, any he he constantly talks in lyrical yeah. ways, like but like he, literal rhythmic and rhyming. Yes, um, and and yeah, I think a limerick is generally four lines. He does he does actual real limericks several times. That are four lines, but most of his are sort of like rhyming doublets. Uh, doublets, yeah, couplet, exactly. Or couplets whatever you want to call what, it. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Couplets, I think. Um, yeah. And there are a shit ton of them so far in these first two movies. But the first one came in at seven. Right, which is fair. Okay, yeah. that's all right. So now we get to Leprechaun 2. And as you were saying, forget everything about the first one. Warwick Davis is back, but he's not the same Leprechaun. He can't be. He can't be because uh, different story, different yep. origin, yep. Um, seemingly a different character. He's much more cruel in the yeah, second one. Like yeah. they really ramped up the monster side of it. They did in the first in the first Leprechaun. Leprechaun really was just after what was his, right? And what he was would taken kill or tricked to from take him, back. You know, to kill to take back. But you, it's almost like the the predator, right? Mm-hmm. If if you're not involved. Or you're not like threatening the predator; he's going to leave you alone. This leprechaun wouldn't kill out of spite or for, or for, right. or for he, joy, really. Necessarily, he only killed the uh, leprechaun or the cop, the 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 leprechaun cop. The the, the, leprechaun. the the leprechaun only killed the cop in the first one for two reasons. One, he impeded his return to yeah. the the farmhouse to get his gold, and two, he was kind of making fun of him. Yes. Uh, much better in the first one than the scene where the same thing happened in the second yes. one. Yes. Um, so the second one, you, you meet the leprechaun in the past. You get a little bit of an origin. 1,000 years in the past. Yes, and he's after his bride. And apparently he can only... He can, he take, can only a bride take a bride every 1,000 years. On his birthday. Yeah. And the girl that he is after, she sneezes twice, or three times, and she is uh, betrothed to him. Yes. Um, um, but he, but for some reason, he part of this deal has to be with the um, the young woman's father. No, well, it doesn't have to be. It turns out he turned his attention to the daughter of somebody who tried to steal his gold, and the leprechaun enslaved instead of killed. Yeah, to basically teach him a lesson about stealing the gold. But but it's weird because he he makes a deal. He's like, I'm going to marry your daughter, and then and you'll then be you'll let get free. to go free. Right. And so she sneezes the third time, and and the dad is like, it says, God bless you, which breaks the spell, which pisses off Warwick Davis something terrible because now he's got to wait as we all a know, thousand years to get laid. Well, that, and <laughs> as we know, Warwick Davis is a out and out atheist. Ah, uh, is he? No. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I see what you're doing here. <laughs> Playing a little trick on me. Mm -hmm. Getting a little tricky. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah. So then, for whatever reason, he's got to wait a thousand years. He's got to wait another thousand years. And he says it's going to be your ancestor. Yeah. And apparently apparently he rides it out in like a big tree in California. Basically, yeah. In California. Yeah. So there's this whole story about Houdini. So wait a minute. I just want to get something something in the clear here a thousand years uh-huh does he go from ireland how does he go from ireland to hollywood well, that's the thing with harry houdini so yeah i don't get that okay so 
present day, we meet um, our new puke sn- <laughs> nope skyper. <laughs> uh, so this is our hero in this is just a, uh, our hero and heroine are both turds. Um, so yeah. we've got we, we've got uh, kiddo who is who works at at a grifting kind of game with his grandpa or uncle or something and his uh, legal guardian but they have the same last name oh sure. so i don't know so whatever. it's uncle grandpa whatever um so the kid is like uh, will will basically get suckers off hollywood boulevard to go on a dark side tour mm-hmm. of like haunted and spooky places in hollywood yeah it's like the murder tour basically um there are a couple of good spooky places in beverly hills too um anyway the um so his girlfriend wants him to go on a date with some other friends and grandpa is sick or not sick. He's drunk and uh, he's loaded up the car. He's going to go get grandpa. Gr- grandpa is drunk as a skunk. And so the kid's like, well, I can't give back the $300. That's insane. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to take them on the drive. And that pisses off the girlfriend. And she basically is like, well, I'm going to go see this other dude, you know, or whatever, which is a total dick move. Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, so they stop at this this place in a park. Uh, or no, it's a, it's a, the front steps of Harry Houdini's uh, dilapidated mansion. Right. And says that uh, this is Houdini, this is all that's left of Houdini's greatest uh, 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 home, you know, mansion or whatever. And when they drive off, there's a bum there, right? And the bum sleeps next to a tree that's dedicated to Harry Houdini from a town in Ireland. Yeah. And that's how the leprechaun got to... Well, well, there's one more key component here. Okay. Somehow the leprechaun's bottle of whiskey gets sucked up into the tree, and that is what is the final piece to unlock the tree prison where the leprechaun emerges. Ready and, to celebrate his next thousand year birthday, very, which is very convenient. Sure, and he picks up the bottle of whiskey, and it's it's a Canadian blend whiskey, and he's got oh, gets really annoyed by that. Which, yeah, you would. But why did a Canadian blend whiskey unlock the leprechaun tree? I don't know, man. I mean, it should have been Irish whiskey. Well, right? he just he just likes drinking. I mean. I don't know. Anyway, but there's so much dumb shit. I know already. That's that's reintroduced into this new mythology, <laughs> right? So, uh, the the whole thing with four leaf clover out, out, gone. Now it's wrought iron. But there is one callback to it. We'll talk about it a little bit later. Okay, we can talk about it now it, when he's in the little sports car go kart. Oh yeah, they're, okay. they're, well, we'll get back. All to right, that. all right, we'll get back to that because that's one of the positives of this movie because yeah. there's not many. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, <sighs> So <laughs> it's just like, where are we in this plot? I mean, fucking who cares? This movie's <laughs> terrible. Um, so the um, so then <laughs> so he's out now, and he's got to go find the ancestor of that dude that uh, broke his curse and yeah. was enslaved to him for stealing his gold and everything. Um, and he finds her, and she looks just like the girl that he was going to marry, the guy's daughter, whatever. Um, this actress is bad. Yeah, she's, she's really, really bad. bad. Um, she she has a weird voice, and and okay, it's sort of listen. like it's sort of a bassy little bit. It's it's very breathy, and it's like I can see how people thought because yes, yeah, sometimes pretty blondes or pretty women in general with breathy deeper voices are a different level of sexy. The problem is, is that she's she's more cute than sexy. Mm, yeah. But the other problem is, is that she doesn't enunciate things very well. Yeah, now she's very mushy. Yes. And I mean, everybody has their times in which they mumble their and, way and through just, something. And just generally flat. Her her. Yeah. Her affectation is is pretty one note. Well, that's what I was saying. It's like she put weird uh, emphasis yeah. on certain words and sentences, not certain syllables. She was not that bad. But there, it, it felt like, it felt like, it felt like she was on sleeping med. Yeah, you know, it's, or 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 that she was trying to change her accent, like she was making a conscious choice to. But she doesn't have an accent. She's right, from America, right? Which is strange to me. It, I said it sounded like unless it's she just was, not her natural. 
I mean, maybe she had sort of a valley girl thing and well, that's she was what trying was to saying. suppress it's that. Like, it sounded like she was trying to be a non cartoonish valley person. Yeah. And it just is not Odd. there. It doesn't it's, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound human. It didn't sound it, nothing she said sounded like she actually meant it. Yeah. It was a little, little bit lizard people y. <laughs> like, you know, when you, people when, when people act and they don't feel comfortable with just anything right and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel even human yeah you know it feels like it's a lizard trying to act like a human you know it's just it's are weird you say, are you saying that the lizard people, people are exist, here man watch out <laughs> they're they're everywhere they're they're hanging out with the leprechauns yeah. in hollywood in hollywood they're controlling us yeah. all yeah they run a pizza company <laughs> <laughs> Oh, grab your weapons, everybody! They're invading. <laughs> um, anyway, um, <laughs> I really didn't expect you to go there. Um, anyway, the uh, yeah. So I mean, like, she's cute. Yeah. Um, not a good actress, right? And it's like, but no one's good in this. No, the 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 I lead. Mean, the, kid, the old man is pretty good. The old man is good. Warwick, Warwick Davis, Davis is, is fine. Is he's great. He's always having a good time. He's having a good time. He's like, come cashing me paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> doing a jig, <laughs> doing a jig all the way to the bank. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> jumping up and clicking his heels. You know. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, the 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 boyfriend is, is terrible. You called him puke nope skyper too. He, right. He, he, I, I was trying to figure every out other a, line of his is acting. <laughs> I, I kept trying to find a funny name that would like be, you know, that would that would compare him to like one of the newer Star Wars characters. I couldn't find one. Couldn't find one. Couldn't think of one. Yeah, he's the sequel. He's just the sequel. He's just he's he's best been puke nope skyper. <laughs> um. Anyway. Um. No. He. It's, he's just. He's a turd as a person, not yeah. as a character, as a, as an actual, but that guy's a fucking turd. In real no. life, we, <laughs> we know all about him. We've dug up the dirt. He's an actual lizard person, and he's a real scumbag. Yep. He eats yep. his own poop. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, no, that's not. I mean, the character is not very good. And, and you know, like, I, I would say at least the kid was trying to do something with what he was given. It just didn't work. Um, I'm sure if that kid was in other things, I'm sure he's fine or whatever. But um, his character is bad. He can't do much with it. He's he, he's he's helped by Grandpa being in the same scenes with him a lot of the times, particularly in the second half of the movie. Yeah. Um, and he, it's he, they're basically they're just shysters, right? Like, I mean, he does not seem to want, like. He is turning into his grandfather, right? Like his grandpa or whoever it is. But his grandpa, I'm just going to call him grandpa because he's a grandpa. Sure. Uh, grandpa is all about money and and, and and grifting people, right? Like he even does a thing that a lot of people will do when they're grifting you. He asks to see the gold coin. He looks at it and he's like, oh, that's weird. And then he just puts it in his pocket as he continues the conversation. And the kid's like, uh, grandpa or whatever. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, force of habit. <laughs> you know, and it's like, okay, that for one, that's kind of clever yeah. and, and, and kind of cute. You know, well, that's like, a nice character touch. Exactly. Yeah. And um and and his grandpa's a drunk and he's he's a loser. He's kind of a lovable loser. And the kid is a loser. He's not even a lovable loser because he hasn't had he hasn't he, he hasn't had his, I could have been in a, a, a contender moment, right? Mm -hmm. Like the grandpa probably had. Yeah. And so the grandpa is like um lovable loser, but the kid is going down the same path as grandpa, you know, being a shyster, being a, you know, grifter or whatever. And he doesn't seem to really care. It's like, no, we need the money to, I don't know, whatever. But he seems like he's he's becoming... I guess. Uh, wow, you're getting into some I'm really real overanalyzing. I'm really here. getting into I need it. To, I need to save you here soon. I'm really going for it. <laughs> really going for it here. Um, no, I guess the thing is, I guess he's supposed to have an arc of being that he cared about the money more than he cared about his girlfriend, and then he learned to care about his girlfriend because she was going to get killed by a monster guy. Yeah. That's some arc, I and guess. There, there's, a scene, there's a scene where, and that's actually a clever trick they pull to trap the leprechaun in a safe and yes. in a wrought iron safe 
There are some good moments. So this in the leprechaun movie. is not is not allergic to four leaf clovers. His fatal flaw in this movie is wrought iron, and uh, it hurts him and uh, burns him. Burns him. So also they, explodes him. Yeah. <laughs> So they figure out a trick to get this safe at the, I think it's at the go-kart place, right? Yeah. So the go-kart place was where uh, the, the, the young lovers were supposed to go on their date. You're right. Man, he dumps her off there because she doesn't want to ride around with him doing his job, which I don't blame And this her other guy that. that likes her. Is like all too happy to have her come yeah. ride his go-kart. Right. So it was a rivalry for her. Step into my go-kart, baby. Um, yeah. And there's a whole thing where he gets killed with um with like a pair of fake boobies yeah so the only reason why this movie's (laughs) r-rated is that uh the leprechaun pulls a trick because he takes uh the girlfriend home i don't even remember her name doesn't matter the 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 suitor the the rival suitor the rival suitor takes the girlfriend home the blonde home and uh she comes back out after like basically telling the get lost creep um and she's like, I'm sorry, whatever. I'm scared to be here alone or whatever. It's like, let's, um, you know, let's 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 do it. Let's tango. You know, let's tango. Let's fucking do it. I'll get into your fucking go kart. <laughs> um, and so like to do so, she like opens up her shirt and she's got like these tigo bitties, and it's like not even her. No, it's, it's a body double. It's clearly a body double. But whatever, fine. Just right there, boom, boobies. But as it turns out, what the what the leprechaun's actually doing, he's he's got a um, <laughs> lawnmower floating <laughs> with like a with dual, the blades with, with dual, dual blades, blades. Yep. That basically, as soon as that kid goes in for a motorboat, <laughs> his that those blades are going to motorboat they, his they, face. They motivate his face off screen and with a splatter of blood against the wall. Right. So you went for the R rating. With the, the naked breasts, but you can't pay for the effect of someone getting their, their face torn up by blades. Well, it's much, much cheaper to pay a porn star day labor to come and show her boobs. That's very true. Than it is to pay for a guy's head getting chopped up. Very true. Um, But anyway, um, so the, um, yeah, so like... <sighs> This movie, man. And so, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so back at the, well, they, they got to uh, trick them. They, they got to trick the. They, the they got to figure out because they figure out that the. They also figure out during the course of this whole sequence is probably afterwards that um, the leprechaun can't hurt him as long as he keeps the coin. the The leprechaun can't kill him and reclaim the coin. It has to be given to him. Which this is new. Yeah. This is new, but it's kind of interesting. Yeah, sure. I mean, sure. Makes sense. It's the only way, yeah, he can get the it makes, to trick him to give it into him, which is kind of fun. Right. It's The leprechaun's got to figure out a way to trick him into giving him the coin back. Right. So uh, the other thing is they also realize that as long as he's here, he can't be where the girlfriend is that he's kidnapped to marry. Oh, yeah. Because there's so, a real creepy scene. Oh, my God. This is the creepiest scene in the movie. The leprechaun takes, the, takes his new bride back to his tree home, uh, underground tree home. And uh, and essentially has got got it's her the bound. Elves he's got house. her bound up and starts to explain to her what's going to happen. He's going to you know put his leper thing in her thing, and he's going to impregnate her with a litter of leprechauns, <laughs> a litter of them. And he starts talking about changes that will need to be made to her, specifically to her face, because if she doesn't look like him and he looks like a weird deformed demon little monster the little leprechaun babies won't suckle from her because they won't think that she's a leprechaun that's gross right also she's practically the minute the minute bowl of the leprechaun people (laughs) so like like, obviously already she's not going to be like a leprechaun is it like gulliver's travels right with the little like oh yeah the little people and the giant people yeah yeah the descriptions in that book was always gross. Right. From the point of view of the little person and the big person, I could see like the, the ingrown hairs and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um, but then before he leaves her, he leans over her and he sticks his tongue out to, to lick her and says, kiss me, I'm Irish. But then this big globular slob of saliva comes out of his mouth and drips down her face and she probably has her best acting moment in the movie. When in she, her career. Yeah, in her career, which she recoils in disgust 
from what from that happening to her. Um, it's nasty. It's nasty. It's gross. <laughs> anyway, it's nasty. So, um, so they trapped the leprechaun. Right. So they got to trap the leprechaun because again, as long as he's not with her at sunrise, right, she's safe. So um, he can't go back and put a litter of leprechauns in her. So they got their their goal is now to trap them, and they decide to do that with a wrought iron safe. Smart thinking, right? So he does it by uh, basically teasing the leprechaun to come through a dog door. Yeah, it's very important to know that the that there's a junkyard dog at the at the go kart yes. place. Yes, because there's that gives you a reason for there to be a doggy door in the office. And so that's what they they basically coax him in through that and yes. uh, traps him in the thing. Uh, then Grandpa decides, no, no, no. We're all going to get what we want, but I want a piece of this pie. This is where Grandpa really really goes full on piece of shit. Right. This is where you kind of like the one character that you sort of understood and liked still is a fuck up. Right. Because yeah, everybody in this movie is terrible. And yeah, I don't really like any of you now at all. Right. Yeah. So uh, they he says, all right, Leprechaun, I'm going to let you out, but we've trapped you, so you owe us three wishes. And you know how this goes. <laughs> well, there's a whole series of these movies. Yeah. So <laughs> he says, uh, all right, first I want your gold. That's all he says, basically. And yeah. so... The leprechaun uh, uh, materializes his pot of gold into Grandpa's stomach. Yes, and there's this really pretty cool practical. It's cool. It's like a, a distended stomach. Yeah, that is in the shape of a cauldron. Yeah. Um, then, uh, so then he says, um, "All right, my second wish, I'll let you out, or whatever, or you know, I well, free well, you." Well, no, the leprechaun basically says, "Do you want? Do you want the?" Um, me to get the co- the gold out of you. I can do that. I can do that, but you have to use your next wish to let me out. Right. Uh, so he, he lets him out. Right. And then he says, okay, get it out of me. And, of course, the leprechaun just punches through his well, belly. Well, then he says, is that your third wish? Yeah. And that's his third wish. And so he used up all of his wishes and dies. Right. Classic. Yep. Uh, and this is when, this is when the... Uh, the uh, kid realizes that that as long as he keeps the piece of gold, uh, any attack or any attempt from the leprechaun to kill him will just pass through him, face through him. Right. He's, in, he's invincible. Because he tries to run him over with the go-kart. Yeah, so at the go-kart, then he's got, <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's put on the side of the go-kart, I want me gold! <laughs> he's spray painted, I want me gold! And he's got a decal <laughs> of not a four-leaf clover, I noticed, a three-leaf clover, on the front with the Ghostbusters like no don't sign. yeah no right. sign right which is weird it's like it's a strange callback to the first movie but you would think like that leprechauns would love fucking clovers right right it's so it's so against the mythology but then we've rewritten the rules but now we're gonna write that in but write it in incorrectly right it's weird yeah it's weird <laughs> uh, it's a bunch of people making a shit movie knowing they're making a shit movie and phoning it in right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, yeah. it's plenty fun. Um, so he figures out that uh, he needs to go find the Harry Houdini tree yeah. to save his lady love. Meanwhile, lady love tries to figure out a way to uh, essentially uh, 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 stab uh, little Warwick with his favorite all. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure. It's a golden all. Um, but anyway... Uh, that doesn't work. It just it just bends the all, uh, all ways, and um, uh, he, Hero Goofus shows up, and there's like this fucking scene where they're just trying to work their way out through these various tunnels that constantly lead back to the same place, and it goes on forever. It's way too long. Um, she ends up uh not coming back with him one time, so he goes back in finds her and she's like hey um i escaped the leprechaun all good there and i found a way out yeah wink, wink. Let's yeah go. yeah uh, but all you have to do is just leave the piece of gold behind just give me the piece of gold i'll throw it on the ground we're out yeah peace out and it turns out it's the leprechaun of course um he uh he's like i gotcha yeah and he pushes uh, boyfriend doofus down and it looks like he's been impaled by the wrought iron and the girl's like he's dead 
you killed him. <laughs> he died. He's dead. But as it turned out, he did not give him the real piece of gold. He gave him a chocolate coin wrapped in a gold wrapper yes that was given to him by a uh, by the little black dude from bad santa yes. dressed up as a leprechaun yes earlier in the movie because it was, was saint patrick's day and night. there were and and everybody knows on saint patrick's day little people dress up like leprechauns yeah that's like their go-to right yeah everywhere, if you're a big everywhere person, you turn on saint patrick's day i just see little people dressed as leprechauns if you're a big person dressed as a leprechaun you're you're culturally appropriating their culture Yes. Assholes. Assholes. This is the little people culture. Um, but he, it was the bathroom attendant. It's the bathroom attendant. Who gave it to him. And he was, he was like, come on, I want one of my minty minty gold coins. And he's giving him these crazy eyes. It's a bizarre scene. It's weird. Yeah, it's yeah. so and then, weird. And then he walks over to the toilet. It's, it's like it's so, sizing it's, it's up so the toilet. It's so exploitative. He goes over to the toilet and, and it comes basically where you would put your junk is where his chin meets. And he's just looking at it. Like he's sizing it up. Like, yeah. how am I going to use this thing? Yeah, it's really, it's really weird. Weird, but it does bring up some questions that I have. But, uh, but those uh, those are for off air. Okay, those are like real life questions. <laughs> um, <anyway. laughs> like how how does it really happen? how does it really happen? I think they probably go to a commode. Maybe those are tall too. I guess it's not really for this podcast. Anyway, yeah, but we'll we, that out. but we did have a theory about why there's the scene. In this movie, you had the theory. I have a theory. I, my theory was this is what St. Patrick's Day is, right? Irish guy who's my co host. Isn't this right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, this is exactly what it's like. Okay. That's what I thought. Everywhere I go. That's what I thought. But so I'm surprised that Clotta doesn't have like little people mascots. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, go ahead. But my, my, <laughs> my theory was, and I think I'd heard or read that throughout Warwick Davis's career, he has been very cognizant to the fact that that little people number one don't get good roles written for them and when they do they're typically exploited um and just like he's kind of with taking the leprechaun role it's sort of it's sort of exploiting his stature right and there's all sorts of short little people jokes through scattered throughout um and my theory is that he he agreed to make the second one um, or maybe it was it was part of the negotiation was that they would cast other little people in the movie, um, but yet further exploiting them because they all dress like leprechauns. So I don't know how far that I that mean, theory really goes. Yeah, I mean, obviously we can't I mean, speak to. You have to. I guess you have to come come up with some reason for having twelve different little people right, in, 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 at this bar. Yeah, unless you're at a place that somehow a. Stupid take on Smurf but Village, it goes, but it goes it's, farther, right? It right. Go, with with the toilet joke, it's it's it, it goes a little and, bit. And, and, and oh, then and the, then the freaks moment. Yeah. So so yeah. So uh, Grandpa is going to try to get uh, a leprechaun drunk at the bar uh, because he discovered that rye whiskey is where it's at for like it's punk. bold. It's bold. Uh, so he. Um, he gives him a bottle of rye whiskey, and he's just chugging it. And meanwhile, all of the little people in the bar are just like, one of us, one of us. Yeah. And it's like, what? Pounding the table, one of us. Like the scene from Freaks. They don't say the Google Gobble bit, but it's clearly a reference. It's what? Why? Yeah. Um, I, obviously, we can't speak to little people um, issues or exploitation or anything like that. So I don't know if it is something where they just say, hey, you know what? The money's right. Yeah. I'll do it. Well, it's or, why there's I mean, things like extreme midget wrestling. You know? Exactly. Like, yeah. I mean, even using the term midget is not something that they are, that some are fond of. Right. But some will go in because it's like, whatever, dude. I mean, it would be like, I, I, I have a lot of chest hair. I have a lot of body hair <laughs> in general. And if that you were able to sell that, if somehow. I could sell that somehow, I fucking would. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not able to go to the freak show because I don't have that much. <laughs> yeah. I don't look like fucking Wolfman, but I kind of look like the Wolfman. <laughs> Are pube transplants a thing? You could sell your follicles. Oh, butt hair, big time. Yeah, <laughs> big time butt. Hair. Yeah, I should look into that actually. Oh, pull up the yellow that's pages. A, that's a whole different type of butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. Whoop. Um, anyway, 
No, so I don't know. I mean, I don't know either. I um, mean, maybe they maybe they took it's like whatever. It's fun. We're gonna be in a bar. We're probably gonna get drunk. I think there was a whole plot line or in extras about about little people and dwarves and the roles they get and, and Warwick Davis struggling with the the whole you know what types of roles should I take I'm an actor I want to make a living you know it's 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 an interesting thing he had a guest the guy, part uh, what's his name the guy who plays Tyrion on uh, Game of Thrones um oh yeah yeah uh yeah uh, Peter Dinklage yeah Peter Dinklage um he's very adamant about that he won't take a role that is is in any way shape or form exploitative yeah because like when he him was as in a dwarf. Uh, x-men days of future past it's like did not matter one bit that he was a little person yeah. other than you could say juxtaposed to him building giant robots to kill mutants yeah i mean you could say that that's a thing but there, that's there are two movies i could think of that he's in where he where his dwarfdom is exploited uh yep i and already it, know one and, and it's living in oblivion is one if you've ever seen that with steve buscemi uh, it's fucking great and, there, and there's the dream sequence, and it's this really weird ass dream sequ- sequence they're filming, and and he and he's playing a dwarf in the in the dream sequence, and he melts down at one point on set, he could because he's there keep asking him to do the same stupid motion over and over again, he just ha- he's had it, he's like you know what, I don't know, this whole thing is bullshit anyway, it's like ooh let's make it weird, let's put a fucking dwarf in it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to town on the director yeah. and he quits, and then the other one I can think of is Elf. Uh, is there a third? Because an elf, he was buddy, in, the buddy, the elf is is calling him an elf. He's the the children's writer. Yeah, the famous children's writer, and that, yep. and he keeps insulting him and yep. not realizing he's insulting. Him. Ooh, you're an angry elf. That was Peter Dinklage right. as well. Yeah, and he runs across the boardroom and he and he right. Him. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's great. But but that's but that's like that would be like casting like okay, we're gonna have a guy who says a bunch of. Uh, unknowingly insensitive things to a black guy. You're not going to hire anybody who's not a black guy. Right. For that. Um, no, uh, I think it was in Tiptoes, oh. where, where Gary Oldman played a dwarf. I never saw that, but I heard it was funny. Do, no? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've heard the episode of How Did This Get Made. Oh, wow. And it seems odd interesting it seems awkward yeah. and i think it was taken awkwardly oh. i think that's that's kind of fucked up when you probably cast somebody as a dwarf who's not a dwarf yeah it's, it's a little it's, shitty it, it's it, there's it's, a lot of people you probably could have got it's for that. gary oldman on his knees yeah that's not cool and matthew mcconaughey playing his brother or whatever like his normal brother yeah yeah that's weird it's like scarlett johansson playing an asian <laughs> 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 she's the new charlie chan now I feel like if you're going to make Charlie Chan movies, you want to make them old school. Like, <laughs> I, think, I feel like if you're gonna make Charlie Chan movies, you should blow your fucking brains out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've devolved here. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, Leprechaun uh, tries to impale uh, uh, whatever his fucking face is, and he. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so he uh he, he comes back stabs him <laughs> with the rod iron he's like starting to short out and 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 the he's girl got the, the animated lightning yeah and what's the girl's scream oh god i don't remember he's gonna blow oh, yeah. <laughs> that's me <laughs> so they run out and um, <laughs> it's gonna blow. And a little Warwick Davis explodes. Oh, uh, and it's a good explosion. It's a good explosion. Good chunky yeah. piece, pieces of people. Chunky bits. Chunky bits of person. And um, so then uh, she's like, "Well, how did you know it wasn't me when you gave the coin?" It's like, "Well, you you feel different. Oh, you kiss different because he kissed Warwick Davis. Yeah, yeah. And they kiss again. He's like, oh, "I'm gonna have to think about it some more." And it's like. Well, yeah, that she, says more about she asked, you well, than who's, anything. Well, who's better? Yeah, yeah. That says He's a like, lot I'm about you, pal. About yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, so he decides uh, he's just going to toss that gold coin. He doesn't want anything to do with it. He's like, all right, that's in that. And then the movie was like, all right, that's the end of that. <laughs> yeah. And awkwardly cuts to the <laughs> to the credits. Yeah. I, like, <laughs> I liked your comment when when the the coin hits the dirt. Um, you're like, oh, Freddy Krueger's claw should come up on the ground and grab it. <laughs> 
<laughs> that would have that would have been just mwah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Freddy versus Freddy Leprechaun. versus Leprechaun. Oh man, he like all the fanboys. That'll get him going. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's just it's such an awkward ending to a movie that's really bad. All right, so for Leprechaun 2, what does the limerick ometer tell us? Okay, well, um, to recap Leprechaun 1, the yes. limerick ometer was 7. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty seven. good. For, 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 number, for number 1, but limerick ometer f- for Leprechaun number 2 blew it out of the water. It added 10 more rhyming situations for a grand total of 17 on the limerick meter yeah that uh, that f- kind of feels about right i mean it's like kind of like them saying it's like hey we got this we got this thing here let's just crank it up a little bit yeah. you know yeah well, most definitely yeah i mean that's what sequels should be doing right right up in the ante adding more limericks being more rhymy he's getting a little goofier yeah yeah like the the exploding uh, the exploding Warwick Davis. That was, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Pr- pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, but the uh, the 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 whole rest of the movie is really bad. It's, it's, it's really bad. It's bad. Like I feel like at this point, there's only one place to go. Vegas. Yes. Because that's where we're going. Is that where we're going? That's where we're going next. Well, set that up. Let's uh, let's let's put a wraps on this. Yeah. If you don't have anything else to say? I'm I'm good. I think uh, if you enjoyed this at all, I guess come back next week for episode two of our Leprechaun series, which we'll be covering Leprechaun three and Leprechaun four in space. In space. So yeah, there you go. You don't know where to go from here. You go to Vegas. You don't know where to go from Vegas. You go to fucking outer space. Yeah, even Sharknado did that. Oh, Sharknado went to space? Sort of. Wow. I got to add that to the list then. But anyway, <laughs> we'll save that for next week. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, um, new episodes every Wednesday at filmseizure.com. You can always hit us up on email at, uh, at filmseizure at gmail.com. Yes, indeed. Um, you can always hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. Just look for us at Film Seizure. Um, I have Monster Mondays every Monday. Uh, oh, that's also on Film Seizure. You can listen to us on, uh, let's say, op- Apple Podcast. You can listen to us at um, at at the at, at the um, TuneIn at Spotify, Google Play Podcasts. You can go. Uh, you can go over to my website, which is bmovieanima dot com. Every Friday morning, there's a new stuff. You don't have to only go there on Friday though. Spread it out. Spread out your enemas. Yes. It's probably good that you do that. Um, I mean, they say you should have one <coughs> bowel movement a day. Have one enema a day. Have one B-movie enema a day. Yeah. You read it on the toilet. Perfect place. It is the perfect place. It is really the perfect place. I mean, you know, when it really comes down to it, I, I think I mentioned that I like to enjoy B-movie enema on Friday mornings with my coffee. You're probably on the shitter, too. Well, usually after I have my first coffee... Everything's flowing. Everything's flowing. You gotta work it out. Yep, and it's it's a perfect time to go have that have that moment. BME, <laughs> right? <laughs> with your your BME with your BN. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So uh, always uh, always uh, welcome to go to those places. I'm also there on the Facebooks with the uh, B Movie Anima as well, and Twitter and stuff. Indeed. Um, so, uh, yeah, next week, Leprechauns 3 and 4, we're not dead yet. No. And I feel like... I'm feeling good. I'm feeling energized. Yeah, I feel fine. I feel fine. I think I think we're going to get into the real tongue-in-cheek stuff. Like, mm-hmm. this movie, I think, tried to be something different than the first, and it's not quite as fun as the first, because it is a little bit more cruel in the way that the monster is, mm-hmm. right? Um, he's a lot more demonic in this, in, in the sense that he's killing people. We're about to see a leprechaun with a lightsaber. Yeah, so we're about to get Warwick into the... Davis is about to merge his worlds. Yep, we're about to uh, get into some real goofy stuff. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so come back next week. Uh, until then, I am Jeff Arbuckle. I'm Jason Oliver, and you have been listening to Film Seizure. I want the boat.